welcome to another fight in the night review. This was the fight of the night that took place last night. It was the main event at the UFC Apex Center in Enterprise Nevada between Mackenzie Dern and Marina Rodriguez. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and go about it round by round as best as I can and tell you what I thought about it at the end. It's not going to be a ter terribly long one, even though it was a 25-minute main event, but I'll do what I can. And so we begin with round one. And, oh, I, I know I say this at the start of each of these, but... Yeah, this is definitely feeling out process for the first half of this round. Like, no one really gets a lot going. There's some really good threats with um, some kicks. I think Dern attempts to take down at some point in round one. But mostly in round one, it is down to Rodriguez. She's landing some really good uh, one-two combos, really good clean stuff. Really good backing away using her height and her range to really keep Dern at bay. And uh, land some really good body kicks. I wish she landed a few more of these, like, because her push kicks were really, really good in round one. And um, I think Dern sort of attempted a clinch near the end of round one. Um, by the way, I'm going to be saying that a lot. She attempted clinches at the end of almost every round. And, yeah, uh, round one, not really much to talk about. There wasn't really a lot that happened, um, but... Garza Rodriguez, in my opinion, she actually landed stuff. I mean, she capitalized on a lot of Dern's openings because Dern, like, threw a bit wildly in round one. There was a moment early on where she threw an overhand right that Dern capitalized, uh, that Rodriguez capitalized on, excuse me, so. Yeah, round one, pretty much all Rodriguez. Not a great deal happened, to be honest. Then we get to round two, and it starts really well for Rodriguez as she lands a really good combo, and then Dern takes her down. And keeps her down for pretty much the rest of the round. She's scrambling for a lot of positions. Um, she keeps um, Rodriguez against the cage. Lands a really, really good takedown. Where it starts is where she attempts to take down. And Rodriguez sort of like stands over the top of her. And it looks like she's countered it. But she's just close enough that Dern can sweep around. And then put her on the ground chairs. She's got him. Uh, ground chairs? I don't know what the hell that is. She's got her in. Dern has got McKit. Dern's got McKenzie. Dern has got Rodriguez in some really precarious positions, landing uh, landing some really good um, strikes. Goes for a good couple of um, submission attempts. There is a good moment where she goes for an armbar. It doesn't initially go super well for her, though, because Rodriguez, even though she's on her back, does attempt to dash, isn't able to really roll the hips, and Dern is just a bit too strong for her. And Dern goes for a really unique-looking sort of um, crucifix position from the back. You don't really see that a lot. And she's um, got her arm wrapped up, really, really good strikes, and eventually she gets the full mount and starts to open up with a good barrage of punches. Um, Rodriguez does try and get out of it, but again, Dern just able to stay on top of her, land some really good shots, and close out the round pretty dominantly. Yeah, round two easily goes to Dern. It's the only round, really, that goes to Dern. Uh, yeah, this is... From round three onwards is where it's gone. Is where I'm going to be a bit more lazy. So I'm just warning you now. But yeah, round two definitely goes to to Dern. And round three, Dern, bless her heart, tries to get the same momentum going that she had in round two, and just is not able to. Rodriguez there all day with the combos, um, starting to land some really good shots at the body as well. There's a good moment like at the halfway point of round three, where Dern goes for a spinning back fist, and the flow of Rodriguez's combo just ducking under really good left hook to the body. Amazing stuff from Rodriguez in round three. It's pretty much all her, there's not really all I can say. The main sort of thread of round three and round four is Dern goes for combos, Dern tries to press forward and land takedowns, isn't able to do it. Rodriguez counters really, with really good strikes. She lands some vicious hook combos and um, yeah, really, really good straights and capitalizes for some good knees to the body as well. And yeah, she just steals round three. And also at the end of round three, Dern did get a clinch, sort of, but Rodriguez was able to get out of it quite easily, quite easily, so that didn't really matter. Round four, same story, to be honest. Rodriguez countering pretty much anything to us throw at her. There's a really embarrassing moment where um, like the significant strike total comes up for round four, and it's like 16 to Rodriguez and zero to Dern. Which has got to be so fucking disheartening. I mean, it's not like Dern didn't land strikes. She landed strikes, she just didn't land anything significant. And I still hate that rule, by the way. I still really do not... F well, I do understand it, it's just fucking stupid. That's my problem with it. Anyway, yeah, round three... Uh, sorry, round four, excuse me. Um, pretty much the same as the previous one. Um, although Rodriguez is laying more knees to the body, landing some really good knees to the head as well. 
She did land some good head kicks in round three, I forgot to mention, and um, yeah, capitalizing really well. Although Dern, to her credit, actually gets a takedown near the end of round four. So that was good. Held it for about 30 seconds. The only 30 seconds of the round that she really won, but Rodriguez won the round, definitely. So yeah, very one sided by this point. You can see why I'm getting a bit lazy with my explanation of these rounds, because it's sort of the same thing, but thankfully we move on to the fifth and final round. And the fifth round wasn't exactly the same story as rounds three and four, it's just not a whole lot happened. For a five minute last round, it really dragged. Again, takedown attempts from Dern, good combos and counters from Rodriguez, really, really good straights. Um, she does land a really good combo near the end of the fifth round, but it, for the most part, Rodriguez is just keeping Dern away with really good pokes and kicks. I'm like, she should have been doing that the entire round, to be honest. Dern does get a good couple of clinches in against the cage, but Rodriguez just really great countering, really great stuffing of the takedowns. There's a good moment near the end of the round, and by that extension, near the end of the fight, where she lands a really good knee right to the head, and I thought she was going to finish it, and sadly she didn't, and, you know, the fight did end. That was pretty much it. That's how the round and how the fight ended, and Rodriguez definitely ran away with round five, and she won the entire fight, you know, decision fairly easy. I mean, okay, yeah, round two definitely did go to Dern, but, like, that's one round out of four. That does not make a fight the night. Like, Rodriguez was fairly, not even that dom dominant, she was just better than Dern was, and, uh, mm, this, yeah, this fight is not making my favourites of the year, like, at all, it was just surprisingly boring, not really a lot happens, and Dern had, like, one good moment per round, except for round two, where the entire round was hers, but, yeah, not, it just really wasn't back and forth or enjoyable enough to really count as a fight of the night, in my opinion, definitely not as good as Ortega vs. Volkanovski, that fight was fucking incredible, that had a little bit of everything, but this one, I recommend skirting by it, it's not going to make my personal list, I mean, you can watch it yourself if you want to, but I would recommend not doing that, it drags on a lot longer than you think, literally the only interesting thing that happens is, there's an accidental groin strike in round 5, near the start of the round, and I was like, finally, we don't have to keep watching the fight. I know that's harsh, but it just wasn't exciting. I didn't feel anything for this. Again, possibly not helped by the fact that the UFC Apex Center actually needs crowds. Full, big crowds. Give us crowds back in that place, please. Not just for the big pay-per-views. Give it to us on fight nights. I am fucking begging you. If there's one thing that can change how I feel about these fights, it's crowds. I need them back in full, please. But that'll about do it for this one, you know, as I said, watch it if you want to, I'd recommend not doing so, but then, eh, that's just me. And as for what's next for me, um, probably a stream on Friday, I didn't do one last Friday, I might do one this Friday, and, um, sort of working a little bit on PBW vs ABW stuff, I can't really say anything sent stone yet, but I'm getting, I'm, you know, getting to work. That's all I can say. Um, also, I'm going to start working on the Fallout Boy 2 part episode of Backtracking tomorrow or today. Whenever I want to, really. But, yeah, as for what's next, I don't really fully know. Music of the Week tomorrow, maybe. I've got all the albums from, not this Friday gone, but the Friday before graded. So, yeah, that should be good. I'll see you probably for that. And, as always, thank you for watching. You're awesome.